I get all the way to Kentucky. No drive back to the airport. Uber was a 15 minute wait. I was terrified. As it turned out, there was a slim chance I was going to make the plane anyway. The way they went, if there was any inquiries, even one inquiry, exactly. done. So, uh, Tim was sitting there, Tim Tietrich, you might know him. Hi guys. He drives once in a while too. New to the business. Yeah. He, uh, he said, well, I'm done in race eight. He said, I'm done in race eight. Why don't we just travel together back to the airport? Now, the, the kicker was I had to drive. He got me for the drive. And I guess at some point in my life, I'm probably going to be driving around people like you anyway. So, <laughs> so, so I may as well get, get, get used to it. Uh, what a good day it was. Uh, what did you do? You had a better day. You had a first delivery. I, I had a couple wins. Yeah. Yeah. A couple wins for the Trotters. Yeah. Must be nice. Uh, well, I told a really nice trot in Philly for Jeff Cole. That she was, was a nice Philly. Very nice. Father Patrick Philly. You'll never beat me again with that trot in Cole, though. I'm going to try. No. Yep. No. And if I think there's even a, a, a chance, I'll just call the little, the little fella in. He'll come back. Little fella. Either, either James or Scotty or Mark. If there's even a hint, even if I picked Mark, I'm like, you know what? There might be a chance Tim could beat me in here. I'd be like, man, I'm just not going to Yeah, bring Mark. Mark could come. And James. Bring them both. I have no problem with that. The Colt was good. I'll tell you what he has. He's flip-flops on. And uh, early too. Track he, was deep. I almost lost him at the hat. I did a hell of a job. I thought I, I wasted what little finesse I had well, left in my you, driving gloves. You brought your trotting gloves with you. I did. I did bring my trotting gloves. And uh, I saw I got my wheel underneath Kevin Wallace pretty good in that other race. He never said a word. I really thought. He, he doesn't care. Yeah. I don't think he's seen it. He doesn't see it. I saw it. I can tell you that. I was watching it. It was tight. I was watching it. Was it. <laughs> so uh, we brought the big wall in our cult down. Uh, I, I know... Uh, I had a really nice comment from, from Randy, he hadn't heard from him for a while, um, just asking, you know, how the cult was, in a roundabout way, in a nice way, hey Anthony, why were you two football fields back at the half, and uh, do you think you could have won that race? I know I could have won the race, but we have bigger aspirations for this cult. Now, I know it's hard to look at a mile in 59 and say, yeah, he's a nice cult. This is a very, very, very good cult. I believe he is, anyway. You've driven he a lot did, of good horses, did, I've driven a lot of okay horses. He, he did his best work the last two pilots. 21 on the That's pretty impressive. Yeah, no. I time, think, means, time is irrelevant to me. It does yeah, absolutely means nothing. 100%. Well, unless you're in jail. And, and well, then, then that sucks. But we're yeah. not talk, we're talking yeah. horse racing. Horse racing, yeah. I think this cult, uh, if we can continue to teach him, he was very polite coming off the gate. Uh, rode very well. Got it rough in the, in the second turn. And I don't know why, because he trotted the last turn flawlessly. It was so weird. Got a little out of gear in the in the second turn. I had to we're really steady. Slow there, though. Yeah, but I was gapped a little bit because I didn't want him getting a little revvy. So I, it wasn't the pace. It wasn't the tempo. It was him. It, it might be nothing. I doubt it was anything serious. But uh, either way, I kept him at it. And then down the back stretch, I, I started to let him try. And Andy made a break. And he gave me one of the little, one of the little, hey, watch him on the run. He was, he, he kind of took his time getting out of the way. And, and pickpocket uh, shot through. And I really thought I was going to win anyway. When we fanned out, There's I thought There's a guy was, in the two hole that was. It was true really and ready really to feed good. me his big green wheel, the big yellow wheel on his green bike down the lane. But I really thought he was going to trot by, but I didn't really, I didn't really want to push him. You know, he had done everything perfectly up to that point. And as I said, I, I, you've known me long enough. I'm not really the conservative type on the track. I will, I will agree with that. Yes, I'm not the conservative type on the track. But when it comes to a colt, especially a colt like this, at no point in the mile was there any sense of urgency and, the, and that's not to let down the people that are wagering on him but I believe when we get this horse to Lexington get those flip flops off put a little set of 916s on him I think this horse is going to be an absolute terror on the track and it's uh, still they're still babies and we still have June the 12th them. June the 12th June the tw- and we still have to teach him it's, he only had one qualifier yeah. and you did took him off in the qualifier same way yes. and you come flying home. and that's a guy that wears an earwood and a snake cord it's not like he's got his head between his legs with an old bride along a The gambler around. knows that. The gambler, yeah. That's part of handicapping is that you have to know that. You can still win races from the back. It's true. You know, I, don't I don't understand why the judges... No, I don't, I don't want but I don't understand back. why judges can even say, why didn't you leave? Well, because I'm you can't, only you trying can't. to teach the horse. Yeah. It's just June 12th, yeah. and we're trying to make him a, a grand circle. Truthfully speaking, at no and nobody's calendar of a horse they have a lot of faith in or they believe is going to be a good horse, do they have June the 12th in Oak Grove Circle? No. It was just the timing of it. And I was just telling Timmy this, that you qualified a very nice trot, or you went with a very nice trot in Philly, and probably a similar situation. This horse was ready. He never got sick. 
He never got sore. Jason did a great job training him down, and he was ready. What What do you want me to do? Throw an anchor out and just kill time for the next month? Well, he's ready to rock right now. You they just up six thousand. I was just gonna say twenty five thousand dollars. They allowed us to qualify again. Now it might have squeezed me a little bit. But we'll talk about that another time. Um, he, I, mean, uh, I gotta eat too, man. Yeah, no, you're, you're pretty hungry. I was gonna ask you, you need a loan or anything. Pretty Every little bit helps me. Yeah. Oh, I know. Every little oh, bit I'm helps. well aware. The collection plate is always there. So. And it's always empty in your and church. There's no shame. Always empty there's, no shame. there's no shame. There's no shame. Yeah. So uh, I thought pickpocket was fantastic. Yes, I would like to get up and just kind of rub it. The guy's nose beside me, but I'll get him next time. Um, he let me win so he'd have a ride back to the airport. I didn't. That's the thing. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. So, uh, the next one we had was Perlucky. You know, Perlucky's kind of a tweener. Do you ever drive that guy? He's raced for everyone, Perlucky. Burke had him forever. He's a big so, black trotter? Yeah, yeah just an absolute not, no. sweetheart of a horse. And he's just been, he's not quite good enough to win the Open, but good enough to be there. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just always present. Hey, what'd you give me, two lengths? Three? Yeah, probably two or three. Yeah, I mean, Very the Herbie hard. horse had me collared at yeah. that lane. I come back on and beat him. I mean, Perlucky raced his hard out. not fast enough. No, they, they, they won wasn't. 54 and 4 on their hands and knees. Yes, and, and those are 52 and 53 yeah. trials. So that makes those two year olds even better models. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I saw that Kevin Wallace's head pole was broke coming to the half. I didn't realize this horse would really slow up that much. And uh, I knew that Verlin Yoder was behind me. I could hear him chirping. He wanted me to get going with Per Lucky, but uh, I came as tight as, I, as he could lay his legs. And I really thought when I moved him, I might get the jump on Kevin Wallace's horse, but I didn't. He fought back on, and we were toe to toe. and I kind of got my wheel down underneath him in the last turn. He wasn't going anywhere. And, and, uh, and guess who was behind him? <laughs> Old metal hips. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, they're not metal. They'd be plastic. Titanium. 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 Ceramic yeah. on ceramic with uh, titanium uh, rod. Titanium rod. Oh. I mean, it's just a scrap metal. You're probably worth pretty penny. It's good to know. My bank's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, per lucky. Fought back. Probably one of the best races I've ever seen go up close sitting behind him. And you did a lot of work down the back side. It's very windy. In the yes. Backside. It was windy. Today. I really it thought. It was windy. He, he didn't, didn't look that, like it on TV, but it was windy. He went in 53 and 2 at Northfield. He doesn't even get around half that good. And Chris Lambs popped him out of the two hole and he trotted wide open. I was going to say he must have had a driver on him. Yeah, a good driver. Yeah. Cleared down the back stretch and opened up and one wrapped up, just jogged. And that's how he won in 52 at Indiana also. He's, he's not. He, He's a weird horse, but he just raced out of his skin today. And you know what? He looks good. Uh, Eric and Kathy have him looking. He's put 100 pounds on at Kentucky. On the track. Oh, yeah. Pretty on the track. Beautiful horse. And then... He likes his blue grass. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He, he's definitely put some weight on. And then we went to uh, Arson. I had... I thought as highly of Arson, I think, in that field today as I did of Pickpocket. And Arson is really, really handy. You know, if you want to take him back, take him back. You want to send him in, send him in. Just don't be first over with him. He's not a big fan of first over. But he'll carry the mail. Like, down the lane, he'll, he'll march. Like, there's no... You don't have to worry about him. And, you know, Johnny... I almost come out, and I'm like, ah, what are you doing? Just stay in. So I stayed in third down the back stretch. Johnny came 100, and his horse blew the turn. Pulled up a bit. I don't know. You were thinking of coming out. And all that would happen is I would have just greased Johnny and then blamed you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was just trying to get a little stay out of the way. Yeah. yeah. No, you did a pretty good job. Just for a second, I said, look at this little, little chestnut. He's going to come out and get me right here. going to get me good. But you know you didn't. And then, uh, at first time ever, earplugs in this horse's ears. I dropped him out of his ears. His legs almost came on. I looked over, and this thing is just throwing dirt everywhere. <laughs> he is scat. Was he making it down the lane? What I tell you after that, he'll do. Oh, that yeah. one will do. Oh, that, yeah. that one will do. He's a sweetheart of a horse, too. And he was such a little, we never did geld him, but he was oh, such yeah. a mongrel to train down, ignorant, pulling up and rude. He's still a stud? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. a stud. Nope. No, nope. he just turned into a sweetheart later in this, later in the train. It's funny because a lot of the horses, you'll see them go through those same types of things where they get really moody. I think they start to hurt a little bit around February, and they get a little pouty. And as they push through it, they get stronger, and their joints start to cool down. They start to like it. That guy had his ears up the whole time. The post oh, right here. fun to watch. I, I had a tough time getting him pulled up. I had to pull him up by the fence. Well, mostly because I wanted, wanted, to, make, I wanted to get out of here. <laughs> but I, he was, he was very, very, very good. I never noticed. Meet another horse race day. That that filly that Scotty was racing in the metal and sat till mounds. Pouring rain. Do you see how muddy it was in the map? Did you ever see the Poconos and any of the TVs? It was an absolute swamp at the Poconos. Matt Kakeli drove her. 
And uh, I'm gonna get this guy to go. Oh, I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that. A little acceleration. That's how Arson was when I returned, by the way. Yeah, he had it right there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. See, I am good for something. Yeah, no, fantastic. Cameraman, you might be cameraman someday. Future. This horse music future. stuff doesn't work out for you. So, uh, tactical mounts raced great. I, honestly, I'm a little, uh, I don't know who else is racing today, but a great day here in Kentucky. Militant, forgot to talk with him, the, the Colt that John McDonald drove in that trot race. Yeah. He's ours also. He's a six pack. He's a brother to Charmed Life. Very nice. Big, big, huge Colt. He's going to get better. Johnny said he was. Does he stand like this? Like, you know, a little bit, yeah. Because yeah. Charmed Life was yeah. like that. Absolutely, he does. Charmed Life with the white yeah. front feet. He was like that. And he looks a lot. I had their I sister. I drove her. She was very nice. I, I had their sister, and the only person that drove her sister after I qualified her was uh, a man with a beard, and he was going to church, and then he would go <laughs> to the dairy and stuff. Yeah. No, a guy bought her to breed her, actually. Um, I'm the only guy, it's a funny story, I'm the only guy to lose on Walner. The only guy. I So the first year that Walner had breedings, I had Charmed Life's sister, Nancy Allison was her name. And they had the charity act auction. I I remember, uh, you asked Mark to tell you the story. I was there. I watched you bid on the bull and the I came running in the ring just as the thing was going. Somebody bid 16. I bid 17. The hammer dropped. Mark comes up and goes, what in the hell are you doing? I said, that's a breeding of Walner. I said, I'm going to breed Nancy Allison. Well, what would that have been? She was at Donato Hanover, sister to Charmed Life by Walner in the yeah, ring. That would have done very well. So I lost because I sold the mare. And then because I didn't have a mare for the breeding, I sold the breeding for sixteen thousand. I took a thousand dollar loss to get my money, some of my money back in the breeding. Right. So very astute business. You should have thought out. You should have thought that out a little bit better. It, it didn't work out. No. No. Uh, but we all make mistakes. I can assure you, Warren Buffett has no stories that, that <laughs> resemble that. No. We all make mistakes. It's okay. Cool. And I'm like that. I'd like to forget that one. Anyway, uh, great day in Kentucky. Uh, very happy for Jeff and all his partners. Uh, <laughs> with uh, Tactical Mount, she raced fantastic. I, I'm not, I apologize. I'm a little drawn a blank here. I can't remember anybody else's racing. But it's been a great day so far in Kentucky. What about you? Uh, what do you got in the cup? I have Confederate. Ooh, he'll yeah, do it. Yeah, he, he was very good in elimination. He's been good all year. He was good last year. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's just a cool horse. And uh, It's going to be a tough race. There's, you know, they all, they're all competitive. They're all great horses. And, you know, Linda Descano's got two in there. They both race super in their elimination. Who's Scotty Drive? Is that Alanias? Uh, no, Linda's. That's uh, Linda's? Uh, Richard Young's horse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he went in 48 off half of 59 or something. He looked really good. You know, really he, good. You know, just cruised around there. Yeah. Nice horse. But uh, it's going to be a horse race. It's going to be fun. Who, uh, who else she got? Do you have one for I got the Philly combustions. Um, not combustion, um, what's it, the sister to the one you have? Oh, okay, uh, yeah, sister to Urson. Yep, yep. Uh, she made Charleston. The Charleston. 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 She okay. made the final. Charleston. She had the nine hole of one start and come flying down the lane. I think they gave her 25 and two home. Yeah. You know, I, hopefully she draws well and get lucky. You know, that the mayor of, um, what's that? Bobby's, Bobby's yeah, Selby. Oh my God! Oh my God! Good. How did she do that? <laughs> she looks scary good. They go a half in a minute, and she wins at forty nine, like yeah. first up, like nothing. Yeah, just crushed it. She, <laughs> but she and she looked like she was just hitting her best stride at the wire. And the, the mare that was on the Friday, she was an off day, but she'd win just in. Oh, 50. Joe's mare. Joe's mare. Yeah. She's a good horse. Yeah. She went in fifty at Chester the week before. Set the world record last year as a two year old on on five eights. Like she's a good horse too. I just made her look like she's a tin claimer. So. Yeah, I know. Uh, Sylvia, that's right. Sylvia. Sylvia Hanover. I like to see Mark. We're stabilizing the same place now as Mark and Sean. Stacy. Yeah, yeah, great people. Great. Very nice people. people. Yes. Very good horsemen too. I remember a long time ago, felt like another lifetime ago. I drove a lot of stake horses for Mark, grass rangers and stuff. Always nice people to drive for, and always brings her horse. Always bring the horses ready to go. Yeah. You know, if he tells you eh, he's not so good, and he'll tell you. Yep. That's the one thing I always hated. You know, you talk to trainers, and they want to hide it from you that the horse wasn't good yeah. that night. He won't. No. He'll he'll tell you right up front. Ah, you gotta watch for the turns. He's a little sore up front tonight. He was always. He said, They're ready. They're ready. Yep. Yeah. And he was always a great great guy to drive. For. Don't get locked in. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What uh, what else is going on? Ready to get home? We got a bunch of babies qualifying tomorrow in Chester. Oh yeah. We got baby races tomorrow. Jimmy King's got seven or eight, maybe nine in the qualify, so that's fun. I love Jimmy. Uh, I qualified my homebred last week. That was kind Which of fun. Which homebred? 
Adam Iksana, um, she's a home bred. It's a betting line. I know, don't, don't, don't yell at me. But, no, uh, no, I won't do that. He went in 59, home 28 flat. They went the quarter in 32 seconds, and I was happy with that. He's a. It's cool to see your home bred to make it to the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Very cool. He's a brother to Crimson and Chrome, which is, uh, he got a mark of 48 flat, made 400 for me. And he's actually a three-quarter brother to the mother of Folsom. Fulton, oh, Rick Fulton, uh, Fulton uh, Linda Scottles. Yeah, I, that's the first full out of Exxon. Uh Better be steaming, and I sold her. And that I, was, I think it was Fulton's brother last year. He went that big mile, and the very next night, his brother sold. So if you looked in the sale catalog on sale night, you see, you see Fulton, but his line, it, his, it didn't look that good. He had to hit the update. He went at 49 at the Meadows. Yeah. But he's a sister this year. Uh, Linda's got it too. I don't think Eric Cherry sold it. Because Eric Cherry bought the mare for me. I'm pretty sure Fulton's sister or brother was sold it. You sure it didn't? Uh, well, if it did, Eric Cherry kept it. And Linda still may have. Because I remember saying it. It might have. But I remember saying it. Her, Fulton's mother, I raised, raised her, made oh, 100000 really? And then I sold her. And my daughter, she was like... Oh. The worst little horse around the barn. She, we, her, my daughter, which was like five or six at the time, named her Pig and a Cow. Because she would Pig and a Cow. Pig and a Cow. That's actually a fantastic name. <laughs> because we had her at the farm, and uh, she was so miserable. You would call her ears, Pig and a Cow. Pig and a Cow. So she, and she'd yes. pee on you when you oh, raced her. And nice. I ended up making a hundred with her, and then sold her. But and then end up now she's a damn of a world champion. It's funny you bring it up. Greedy breeding always bought I could never out. buy one out of his <laughs> No, no. Pig and a cow. Uh, I just want one full out of pig and a cow. Pig and a cow. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's Tim Tietrick. I have uh, carjacked him in a sense. Uh, I have carjacked him. We're on our way back to the airport. I have a 710 flight, which I am going to make by a hair if there's no traffic. He has an 8 o'clock flight, which he will easily make. I'll be in Buffalo tonight because I have to go to Atlanta first. I'll be in Buffalo tonight at 12.50 in the morning. That puts me in my bed at 10 minutes after 2. Wow. So well, that's my Sunday morning. I went to Canada on Saturday, you know, for yeah. the, all the eliminations. You know, I'm from there. Yeah. <clears throat> I know. Okay. And I got to my bed at 2.40 in the morning. Back in Canada. After you clear customs and everything, it was 2.40. And check in Chester at 11.30. Ready to go. People don't realize the amount of miles. The hours are I mean, crazy. you make a billion dollars, but... The amount of miles that an average driver puts on just trying to make a living in this game, and it was, it's, it really is staggering. For most people, it's a struggle, and a labor of love does not go, does not do it justice. It is a sheer financial, mental, and physical struggle to try and become you. Is Tough. what it is. And you got to be so lucky, more lucky than good, any day of the week. But uh, like then I went to Pocono last night. I got home at midnight and up, catch a flight at nine thirty this morning to come to Kentucky. So. Yeah, I wish I had been on. You know, I'll be honest. I miss this flight. It's not really the end of the world. It is Nashville. You're in, you're in Nashville, Nashville for the night, but I do want to catch the flight because I too have to go with some babies tomorrow. We're schooling uh, about eight. No, seven. We're schooling seven. Mostly Ontario birds getting them ready. They don't race till about the first or second week in July. Um, so we're going to school them. They've already been in two five, two six. Yeah. Go mile in two minutes tomorrow, and then qualify. It's minutes. a great time of year. Getting to see the young ones oh, come, so and, you know, nice. see the good ones and the bad ones. It sucks when you get a bad one. But that's part of it. But that's that's the it. good ones. The ones that don't start out good, but then they surprise you, and then you get the yeah. heartbreaks. And we always say, like me and a lot of the drivers, we're like, it's, it's heartbreak time. You know, we're gonna break, oh, yeah. getting ready to break a lot of hearts right now. We're it's break. nothing worse than coming <laughs> off the track. And I said, what do you think? And you know, it's. Okay. <laughs> or it's not nearly as good as they believe it is. And, and I go through it with our clients, but we try to be upfront with everybody. Absolutely. Like, you know, then you, you get know. the one that you're like, I don't really like this. Uh, it's okay. And then yeah. the driver will come on like, oh, this one's okay. No, no, this is a nice horse. This, yeah. su- this one's going to surprise you. And it, it does happen. It happens you know? all the time. That, that funny, you said that horse that Mark drove last night, and he was, ended up being sick. Um, I think he tied up to it. I don't know yet. The Austral Hanover, that was a 20 cents on dollar favorite. Yep. That horse, I think we trained 63 horses last year, babies, and he was easily number 63. <laughs> no, no, he was the worst horse. I believe it. The worst horse. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was in two sales. The first sale I put him in, he was just too bad to sell him. We weren't right. going to get a dollar for right. him. And the second time we went to sell him, I think he was he was supposed to sell the day after he qualified, if I'm not mistaken. And he won the qualifier. I'm like, oh, he might be like a stallion series horse. 
and he was the best stallion series horse in Pennsylvania by a football field wow. last year. Nice. And and he didn't make a ton of money, but you know when you have such low expectations, he was a fantastic. Horse. Amazing, yeah. A great story for you. Like about five years ago, I, there was a Jimmy King, which I've got a great relationship with Jimmy King. Um, he brought ten babies up to qualify at Chester one day, and he brought this little dragon again horse up there, and he said, Tim. Try to take these other five or six or whatever they were. Don't worry about this one. I don't even, I'll go with you myself. He hasn't stayed pacing for a whole mile. He's got a little go, but he's a little bitty tiny thing. So I go with the five that he likes. You know, I go with them, and then I took one of Mark Harder's over Jimmy King's, and I, I didn't even know it, but Mark Harder's horse was scratched. So I run out. Jimmy's already out there on the track. I wave him down. I get on this horse. He goes, Tim, you don't have to go. I said, no, I'll go. I'm, I'm going to sit on the sidelines otherwise. Yeah. So I go out and qualify this thing. I absolutely loved him. Like, yeah. and Jimmy's telling me he's the worst one he's got. I ripped <laughs> wheels off. I almost knocked over people because he had so much go. He went in like 56, home 27 in the qualifier. I'm like, holy shit, Jimmy, this thing's awesome. And he's only about 12 foot tall. Yeah. Or, I mean, 12, 12 hands tall. He's small. His 12 feet would be three feet. Yes, but he's small. Yeah. So, the end of the story is, it's don't tell me again. World record holder. He <laughs> went like 37 races. He broke the track record at Dayton. He went to graduate. He was undefeated at two and went in 49 and three. And that know. was the horse. Jimmy said he'd never stay pace in a full mile. It's so weird. Yeah. It always happens that way. It's just like funny. that little he made, guy. He made 700,000. That little guy today, I never. I thought he'd be an okay horse, but he looks easy to be handy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And he's bigger than Don't Tell Me Again. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, you know, right that's too. what I mean. Yeah. Like yeah. it's bigger. Yeah. Like it yeah. just you just never know. And well, the other seven that I went with didn't make a hundred thousand in between. <laughs> yeah. And but that's the that's the crappy part is that you know you don't know if Arson had went out and been second in fifty seven and two table, eh, he's not bad in the yeah. horse. You don't know until you really force them into a corner to be a good horse or a bad it's here, horse. Man. It's yeah, here. It's they have heart, to, you know? and they have to want to come forward. Breeding helps. They have to want to come and forward. And they have to overcome all the other oh, stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have to not be able to drive them bad, and they still overcome it. Especially, you know, being you both. I understand. Well, come on, guys. That, that sheer interference. No, not even a fake wave. <laughs> that's a real that's three days right that's there. That's a real wave. That's three days is what that is. <laughs> Look out! They don't play around here in Kentucky, eh? Not even a blinker. No, no. Not a nothing. Just a, how do you do? My name is Sue. Didn't even see you. I believe I'm more angry because I believe she did see me. Could have. She almost really saw. I know she got my attention. Yeah. yeah Good thing that. you're so aware and ready for this stuff. Man. Uh, I don't. I'm just. I'm always on going. You know what I mean? Just always. Anyway, uh, that's Tim Dietrich. I'm Anthony. You know me. Uh, we had a great day in Kentucky. He had a little bit better day, but I actually own a little piece of a couple of them. So actually, I had a better day than you. Of course. Overall. It's only fair. It's only just, fair. just rub it in. No, no. Uh, I'll rub it in next time when I get you with that trotter. <laughs> I'll, uh, I hope everybody had a great day because it was a tremendous day in Kentucky. For those of you out there saying, geez, I wish Anthony had put that trotter in play, just relax. It's a long If year. I owned him, I'd do, be doing double backflips. I, I would love the way he raced today. I'd be appreciate so it. happy. I would. I appreciate it. I was, I, I tell you what, I think. I've only sat behind Peck Pocket, what, maybe 15 times, and probably not even close to that number. I'm just using that number. This is a nice horse, a really good horse. And today, what he showed me is two things. One, he didn't get too hot at the gate. And that's the thing. I'm always worried about the wall and his bleed Big a little time. bit. We had some. And this guy, if you can keep them quiet and stress-free, it's, it's the only way with this guy. And for him to come back off the gate, behave, and then put three or four pretty good steps in coming to the half and stay composed and allow me to steady him, my that's like hands uh, steady him and then try it. Try it. <laughs> turn it on <laughs> down the back stretch get interfered with by Andy thanks Andy and then you know charging at the wire yeah it would have been nice for him to win but that horse got an A plus it's not all about winning it's well, sure it is winning. in this game it actually is about winning, about winning but it wasn't about winning today it's it'll be about, about winning in October September and when we get to Kentucky remember remember this video Remember the little chestnut? Remember this video. When we get to Kentucky, and I take the we take the flip-flops off him and put a nice little 916 on him, he'll be pretty good his first start. He'll be really good his second start. Hopefully be, James is coming. Yeah, somebody will. And he'll be <laughs> absolutely 
vicious in the final. Mark my words. Anyway, that's my prophecy for today. That is our race day to date. I'm going to make my flight by moments, and I mean moments. As long as I don't get run into by this lady again. Uh, by moments, and I'll be in Buffalo at 1 o'clock in the morning. I'll be in Guelph shortly after 2, and we'll be underway. So, with that, I'll let you all go. I hope you have a wonderful day, rest of your Monday. Take care.